Hello and welcome to my first tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to make your NPC look directly at the player. Um, this tutorial is for a single player experience, so this will not work on a multiplayer game. Um, I'll teach you how to get a reference to the player, how to select a creative prof, get both their positions, and how to create vectors and rotations to get this result. So without further ado, let's get on it. So the first step is to drag a Fortnite prop into our scene. Uh, in this example, I'm going to be using a rubber duck. Um, now we can create a verse device. To do this, we go to the verse explorer, right click on content, and we can create a new verse file. And go to verse, open project in VS Code. Now, as I, as I mentioned, we'll need a reference to both our player and our prop. So to do that, let's create first a um, variable called maybe player which is going to be of type optional and now let's actually create a function that's going to store the player into the maybe player variable so let's name it get player and actually maybe player should be a variable so get player it's going to return void we're going to get all players on the scene which is going to be an array of layers and there we go so this returns an array of all the players in our game um, let's remember that this tutorial is for a single player experience, so this should only return an array with one person. Next, we're gonna get our player by creating a player variable. Take the array and get the, the first element of the array, right? So the index zero. Um, if that succeeds, then we're gonna set our maybe player variable into our player. So now with this function, we can get our player into the maybe player variable. So let's not forget to call it in our, in our onBegin function. And now at the beginning of the game, we're going to get our player in, stored in this variable. Next step is to get a reference from, uh, to our prop. To do that, let's go back up right here and let's create a variable for a prop. Let's name it anchor prop. Um, it's going to be of type creative prop. What we're actually also going to do is make it editable which did what this means is that we'll be able to edit its contents from inside the engine so let's save this and let's go back to the unreal editor for fortnite right here we can build the burst code and when we drag our look at player device into the game we can see that if we select it we have the anchor prop exposed in the editor so we can be connected from scene and let's pick our rubber duck right so with this all we have to do now is make the dog look at the player right so let's go back to the script and inside the onVegin function let's create a loop and um, now all of our code that's gonna be inside the loop will run over and over again right so in each iteration we're gonna make um, our dog look into our direction so that it feels like it's always looking at us so first of all let's make it sleep for zero seconds so what this sleep function does is wait a certain amount of seconds uh, until continuing the execution of the code in this case we're putting zero seconds because it's gonna wait for the next frame until it continues executing why because um when I try to doing it without the sleep function, without waiting, it just executes so fast that the game basically freezes, right? So that's a way to fix this. Then we're gonna get our player and their Fortnite character inside an if uh, if statement. Now, if it gives you an error, it's because you need to reference, or you need to be using the Fortnite.com characters space, right? So now it's gonna work, and with this, we get the Fortnite character. Now, we need that because um, if it succeeds, we have to store the player in the props translations inside the variables, right? A translation is just their position described as a 3D vector. So let's do that. Right, so it's gonna give us an error again because we're also not using the spatial math. Next, we'll create a variable for the vector that goes from the prop to the player. Now to calculate it, is uh, it's as easy as subtracting the props position from the player's position. So let's do that. Right, now that we have it, um, we'll get the angle of that vector by using the following function. And with this, we can now create a variable for the new rotation of the prop. 
um, for this we'll be using the make rotation function function which it's gonna take as you as you'll see an axis and an angle so for for angle we're gonna use the um, the angle that we calculated but for the axis we're gonna give it um, something else so because our problem only rotates sideways we're gonna create a new variable of type vector 3 so let's go up here and let's name it um, anchor prop rotation axis right and um, we're gonna set the x and y values to, uh, to 0 and the z as a minus 1 as you'll see now with this we can finally give the make rotation function the axis of the anchor prop and now um, we can set the rotation to our um, to our dock to stare at the player right um, now currently there's no way to modify a props rotation but there's a workaround that we can use and that's what I use to achieve this so this is the teleport to function now this function allows us to teleport a creative prop to a given position and to a given rotation so we can teleport our prop to its exact same position as we see here um, and to our calculated rotation so it's gonna look as if it's not moving but it's gonna be looking at the direction we want right so it's gonna basically look like if we're just rotating it now actually it's giving me an error right here so oh sorry that was a typo so right so um if we go back to our uefn and we um, built the verse code and we launch the session you're gonna see how this is working so as you can see inside the game it's not exactly looking at us but that's for a very specific reason so the prop itself should be looking directly at us but apparently the model or, or, or at least the part of the model that we perceive as the front is not actually looking at the front so for these cases for these scenarios we can go back to our code and um, tweak the rotation so that um, the specific object that we're trying to make look at us actually look at us so let me go back to our script and show you what I'm talking about so right here and where we get the angle we're gonna either sum or subtract um, in this case I think we're gonna subtract a quarter of a full circle um, so we're gonna use pi float which is um, a constant that um, the verse language provides us um, which is the value of pi um, because we're working with radians um, that's what we're gonna use so um, a quarter of a full circle is half of pi float so take that into account right let's build our verse code and when the game ends we're gonna push only our verse changes and now back in the game we can see that the dock is now directly looking at us as I was saying these um, changes into the rotation these adjustments depends a lot on your model um, so you, you'll have to play a little bit with that um, another thing that might occur um, is that if instead of using a, a Fortnite prop like a dock you're using a custom model you might find that it's not possible to reference it because we're referencing a creative prop in our code um, right here um, so what you're gonna want to do is well if it's if the thing that you imported is a static mesh you can um, convert it into a creative prop there are tutorials on that um, or I can make one but if it's a skeletal mesh so basically something that's supposed to be animated with the skeleton um, you do have a solution so that's actually what I did for um, for the part of the video that you saw at the beginning um, so let me just bring um, a mannequin I mean let's pretend this is your um, custom model right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the anchor prop that you selected so the dock and you're gonna literally put um, your model as a child right so you're gonna set it so it's at the same exact position um, then you're gonna make the dock be invisible so there we go rendering actor hidden in game we have the ticket 
and there we go now for this you're gonna have to push changes so let's jump to that so now if we start the game we can see that our character that's not the one that we are actually rotating rotates with the rubber ducky right uh, now it's not directly looking at us because if you didn't notice the duck and the um and the mannequin were looking at different directions that and that's what i meant so it's gonna you're gonna have to adjust it um in a case-to-case -case basis um but yeah i'm just gonna leave it like that so thank you so much for watching the video um in the next video i'll try to show you how to make your npc move directly at the player as you move around um, I'm also thinking about making verse scripting tutorials, both for beginners and about different parts of the language. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comment, please. Uh, and thank you so much for watching again and goodbye.